the Blues have won the toss curls and they kick to the left of screen. And it does look to be just about a full house here. And Wren and Allen to go. Wren wins the first knock. Belts at 40. is favoured by the bounce. Bradley, great to see him back playing. He knows this ground so very well. Had a wonderful career at Port Adelaide before he went to the Blues in 86. And Smart has got the first mark at halfback. Having a good season. He's a fine player. Kicks it in short. Goes to Sampson. Through the centre. Looking for Rockman. Had the big match in the uh, State of Origin game here last weekend. Rice, Hamble, OK. The Sexton on the up was OK to McKay. We've say, said those names a few times when the Blues have been going well. To Camparelli at centre wing. Camparelli kicks the ball to half forward. Neat looking kick off the boot. Beaumont out there with him is Bassett. So it looks like Beaumont started forward and Bassett on him. Bradley's hands raised the ball. Got the ball back. Push forward by Hamill was good. Diorio's got it. Ronnie's handball out wide. Sexton's drifted down. Average bounce. Made a bit of a meal of it. Back to Murphy. Murphy delivers to full forward. Can Smart cut it up? He can't. It was a good lead and a good mark by Camparelli, who's covered a bit of ground, hasn't he? He's been busy in the early part of this game. Saw him a moment ago up on the wing position. But just Diorio just holding on to the ball again too long, trying to get a handball when it really wasn't there and putting the pressure back on the Carlton forward line. Rusciuto at full forward. Silvani manning up on Mark Rusciuto at the start of the game. One goal only in his last four matches, Camparelli. He does average a goal a game this season, and he's kicked it very well for the Blues. But missed. Well, it looked all right from here, but uh, fading away at the last moment. So a let off for the Crows. Camp already from about 45 metres. And Cooter at centre half back on Robberum. So Bassett to kick in and finds Goodwin. Goodwin between uh, left back pocket and left half back flank. Premiership player for the Crows last year and uh, looks pretty fit. And most of them do at this stage of the season. They've all had a week's break, of course, for State of Origin last weekend. The uh, kick in towards the centre wing area, tapped on, fitly. Just left it behind. Bradley to affect the tackle. Pounced on it by Murphy. Well tackled, locked up by Bickley. And the umpire decides on a bounce on centre wing. And that's where the Adelaide Crows are very good, Robert. In close. They're particularly hard at the ball. And they put a lot of pressure on the opposition. So on centre wing, John Harvey, one of the umpires, and Chris Mitchell and Derek Humphrey-Smith. Murphy's hand pass sets it up for Brown. Look for the hand pass. Then decided to kick into the pocket. Well marked by Whitnell in front of Caven. Still a kick and a half. Maybe two kicks from goal is Whitnell. He kicks it to the forward 50 area. Oh, beautifully taken by Camparelli. A chance for his first goal. He's hit the post. So he's kicked the score for the Blues. Two behinds to Scott Camparelli. Well, it's been a bright opening for Scott Camparelli on screen there. And good contesting by Pierce just coming out with a couple of the LA Crow defenders. Knew that he couldn't get the ball, but he just competed and the ball went to ground, and that's all you ask from your forward line players. Goodwin gets it from uh, Bassett. Gets it outside 50. Robin's a target here within Kudafidis. Hart from the side. Sexton playing very much forward. Ratton gets it from Kudafidis. Kicks to full forward. Pierce front spot. Uh, OK, Goodwin in the back. James's handball was good. Taken by Ren. Ren kicks the ball to half back. Jarman, quick reflexes, kicks to Bond at centre wing. Has he got any support? Did very well, actually, to Tyson Edwards. Edwards round the corner to Cook. Nice half volley. Rode the butt well, but onto him was Rice. The Blues look sharp. Franchina caught. Can't get the kick away. Camparelli caught. Actually, uh, probably lucky. Bradley, well done. Little kick doesn't go far for the second time tonight. Bradley finds Smart. Smart through the centre to Bickley. He's got Edwards outside. The lead from Rusciuto. He's got him. Can't take it. Clever by Marsh. Well done by the big fellow. He blazes, though, and misses the lock. He's a likely type. I saw him in Sydney the other week. And a new curling. Yeah, we have a quick... Uh, Bond has injured himself here, and Tyson's coming on. I think for the Carlton to win this match, Kunafidis, Pierce, Bradley and Ratton are their playmakes that have to make it happen. Well, uh, one of those players you mentioned as we see uh, Troy Bond cut above his left eye and in the hands of the trainers taking his player place on the bench. Kudafidis was a player that Neil Curley mentioned. Hamill takes the mark on centre wing. He's kicked towards half forward. Deulio running with the ball. Beaumont to try and lock it up and just keep it there. Tackled was Bassett by Sexton and the umpire will bounce. Beautiful night for football. Curls, this has got to be perfect, doesn't it? 
just absolutely perfect for football. Mark Stevens is one of the players on the bench for the Crows. As we watch uh, Bond being attended to by the medical staff. Big thump by Wren. Oh, good favour there for the Blues. Brown towards full forward. At the back was Pierce. Punched away there by the defender in St. Goodwin. Kicked forward by Dulia. And the mark has been taken for Carlton by Brown. Brown is only 25 metres out directly in front. Have no trouble with the distance. The Blues, no accuracy at the start of the game. Two behinds kicked by Scott Camparelli. Can Brown kick there first? Just a wafting breeze blowing here at Football Park. As you see Brown hook the kick and misses. Well, Robert, that's exactly what you don't want to have happen when you go and play Adelaide in Adelaide. You try and silence the crowd early with early goals. They've had three direct shots at goal, Carlton. Each of them gettable, and they've only been able to score behind. So just watch that injury again. It was a double whammy there, tackled by Franchino. Then Craig Bradley actually ran over the top of him. I'm sure he'll be back on the field a little bit later. She rims Burton, and he went as far as the ball, and that wasn't bad because there's a reasonable kick to centre wing. Tyson Franchino, boundary throw in. Interesting, those matchups in the midfield. Ratton is opposed to, I'm just trying to think, Ratton's opposed to Jarman, I think it was a Brown's opposed to Jarman. And Bradley and Bickley have find themselves lined up against each other. Jarman gets it from James, a high kick. Sexton's got to sit and wait, and he does it well and takes the mark. Bickley coming in. Sexton kicks to Whitnell. What a great young uh, player he is. Taken by Allen. Handball's good too. Puts it out in front. This is how Ronnie likes it. Diolio goes to full forward. Neat kick. Lovely fly by Beaumont. Had a fair bit of it. Bassett played it well. Drag down free kick. The fact we played him straight away, Tim, after being five or six weeks out, is a big compliment, isn't it? There's no doubt about that. Bloody obviously highs, um, holds his player in high regard. No doubt that, about that. He was held on to when he didn't have the ball. Gee, De Ulio could have gone for goal then, instead of the short pass. Smart gets it and kicks to Costa. Out wide, Kim Costa, his first uh, real effective touch. Little kick is all right. Just support being provided here by Bickley. Bickley with plenty of meterage in front of himself. And the kick is a good one onto the chest there of Edwards. Edwards, outside his forward 50, kicks into the pocket. And good effort, Rashido's taken the mark. He's within scoring distance, difficult angle, confronting Mark Rusciuto. But occasionally he just lost Steve Silvani as the ball came back down into their attacking zone. But it was up in the midfield where they got the players free again, the Adelaide Crows. And they just had too much time to deliver the ball. So the emergency umpire out having a bit of a chat to Justin Murphy. Rusciuto improves the angle. Smart's drifted a long way down. And he's marked about 45 metres out. Just a little bit better angle. Not really a renowned goal kicker. He's played a lot of his football in defence, but a high kick, a lovely long kick. And in contrary to Carlton, he's kicked the goal. First goal of the game to Nigel Smart. Adelaide leads 6-3. Well, that's the difference, isn't it? You work your backside off up the other end of the ground, taking the ball into your forward zone. Carlton missed three direct kicks at goal and another couple of scoring opportunities when they just chose the wrong option. And then on the break, the Adelaide Crows get two or three players free in the midfield and set up a scoring opportunity. That stings a bit, doesn't it? Because the Blues have made all the running here. Smart, good kick, goal. White's come on for Hamill. So change there. Jarman, third touch as he kicks inside 50. Rice, good mark. He's had a very good season, Rice. Hasn't missed a match. In fact, interestingly, Tim, nine Carlton players have played all 15 and just four Crow players have played all 15. Normally, when you get high numbers playing every match, the team's had a fair bit of success, but it's quite the opposite in this case. Just highlights the depth of the Adelaide Crows. Allen's kicked Jarman. Clever mark at centre wing. He's uh, so constructive with the football. And finds Caven, who's drifted down. Now, Caven sits, and sits on it a bit. Ratton gets onto his mark. Rodman provides a lead, and Caven goes wide to him at half forward. He's kicked it in front of him, and he's marked it. Just outside his range. He's such a long kick, Rodman. 
He could almost torpedo this all the way and gives it a run and a ride and it's going and Rusciuto takes a wonderful mark. Oh, that was good. What a grab. Plays on and kicks the post. He's hit the woodwork. What good footy. Gee, didn't look it was a brilliant kick, wasn't it? And that's where he's going to trouble Kudafidis tonight, is on the long lead. Kudafidis guarding the space around centre-half back. But Robin will take him right up the ground. He's an athletic centre-half forward. And Kuda is just going to have to steal himself and go with him when he goes. Otherwise, he'll be left in his wake. And he'll be the player. Robin will be the player that the Adelaide Crows look for when they go forward. I know we get a lot of letters at times, people saying never use the word catch, but that was a great catch by Rashida. Bradley's got it at full back. Bradley's kick into the middle of the ground. Good contest provided there by, uh, looked like White. Smart nearly on the end of a slick hand pass. Camparelli missed his target. Chipping in is Allen. Allen for Adelaide. Kicks to half forward. Gee, there's an absolute bevy there of throws. And the mark is taken in the finish by Bickley. Mark Bickley, who's been a very responsible captain of this side over the last couple of seasons. He's kicked towards full forward. Gee, Rusciuto really got on that too. He's going to kick a goal anyway. Able to recover the crumbs and kick the goal. Well, he's got his hands full at the moment, Steve Silvani, isn't he? Rusciuto with a couple of possessions deep in the forward line already in this first term. But once again, it was that turnover across the middle of the ground. Bradley really just kicking the ball blind back up the centre of the ground. The Adelaide Crows had the numbers, and then they just broke from that particular part of the ground, went forward, and Carlton under pressure once again. Richmond and Port Adelaide, the two teams who have beaten Adelaide so far this season. So they're six and two. Bradley gets it from Hart now. He's inside 50, Bradley. He marks the spot. And of the ball also in the early part of this game. Bruce in his return game. Six possessions so far. And I would say that this is it within his kicking range. Certainly on the run, he kicked the ball from this. But he's looking around as if perhaps he doubts that he can get the distance. We'll have to kick it about 55 metres. He is a very long kick and he's kicked... Uh, a lot of long goals in his celebrated career. He's hooked that one. McKay gets underneath it. Ren big fly. Clever there by Caven to the space. And then Smart did it uh, in similar style also to the space. And that looked out on the fall against Brown, but I don't think it's going to be paid. So a boundary throw and Hamill getting ready to come on and Beaumont coming off. So David Parker making a few changes early. The Whites come onto the ground and now Hamill back on. Wren and Allen. Now, Diulio just getting in the road of Wren. So Allen had a free go at it. Wren's Hamble to Hamill, who's just come on. Hamill on his left foot, which is not his preferred. And he's kicked it straight to Bassett at full back. This time I've seen him this year. He's been uh, very, very impressive in his debut season. Caven's kick is a good one to Ben Hart. Inside to Smart. This is a good movement by the Crows. Back to Caven. Caven, who delivers now to set a half four. Not a good kick, but Marsh made a contest of it. Costa's handball is excellent to Edwards, who should go from 40 metres out, and he's done it. That's beautiful football by the Crows, one into the other. It's the stuff that really wins big matches, isn't it? To be able to be so clean from one end of the ground to the other and then convert. That, that defence is brilliant. Nigel Smart's had seven possessions, already five marks in his first term. He's had a wonderful season. A real rebounding player off that halfback flank. Havens also prepared to run hard forward. And it was just good work there by Costa to give the ball off on the ground too. And particularly good by Marsh to meet the ball in the fashion that he did. Well, two players on picture there. Edwards, the goal kicker, and Andrew McKay, an All-Australian player. But, uh, gee, Nigel Smart, you've got a man up on him. He's just absolutely cutting the Blues apart. Kick forward there by Sampson. McKay, handball wide. Sexton has the football. Sexton's kick out wide. Smart into the action, but a good mark taken in front for Carlton by White. He's just behind the wing. Goes short. Not quite with the accuracy that he would have been looking for. Rice makes up for it. Sexton, that hand pass, put Sexton under pressure. And he's just a little out of sorts in season 1998, Michael Sexton. And it, the Crows are able to lock it up near, the, right near the centre circle and the umpire will bounce. Curls. Yeah, right with the injury report, young Bond. His shoulder did pop out. It's back in, but 
They'll wait and see if he'll take any further part in the game. Thanks, Neil. So Troy Bon off early. An important player. Kicked five goals in that uh, win at the Melbourne Cricket Ground a few weeks back and had that big grand final. Bickley belts the ball forward. McKay and Edwards. Cook, nice take for the second time tonight. Clean hands. Inside 50. Floating ball. Silvani attacks it strongly. Has to win it now. Ducks his head. Probably gets a free kick. He did. It was a big duck, but it was a high tackle. And Silvani's earned the free kick and belts it wide and kicks it out to Camparelli, who was very good in the first couple of minutes. Hit the post early and missed another one. Camparelli delivers Bradley, who's had a lot of the ball. This will be his eighth possession. Back to Ratton. Ratton kicks the ball inside 50. Jarman, Allen at the back. Good fly. Allen couldn't hold it, though. Uh, Bassett came forward. Goodwin uh, under pressure here from Hamill, who did beautifully, and gives it to Allen. It was a hard ball. Allen may have to come backwards. Tries one over the head. Wren dispossessed there by White. Ball still be won. White's done a good job against the odds here. Hart tries to get clear. Khan Hamill wins it and kicks it behind. So the Blues, I think, against the odds there, with White and Hamill outnumbered, were able to win a possession and force forward. But as we look at the Blues bench with Beaumont and Hogg there, Hogg and, and Massey also, and Bassett's kick wide, OK for Ellen. And Ellen in the back pocket then kicks the ball to centre wing. Now Edwards is outnumbered here, coming across as Hamill, down towards McKay, Murphy back to Hamill. He did well, uh, Aaron Hamill, and eventually kicked the ball to Whitnell. Whitnell from deep in the pocket, goes for goal. Gee, they've had some easy shots, and he kicks a miraculous one. Whitnell's got the Blues first. Well, we've spoken about the so-called easier shots that the Blues have had so far in this match, and Lance Whitnell has kicked a great goal from deep at right half forward. And Hamill's been impressive since he came on the ground too. On a moment ago, he just held the ball in the forward line. On that occasion, he worked hard to get the ball back into the forward line, and that was Whitnell's 25th goal for the year, and he is an outstanding young player. So Carlton's first goal, kicked by Lance Whitnell after five successive behinds. Allen gets the tap, the ball lands at half forward, carried forward by Bradley, tackled there by James, ball spills Allen, somehow got it to Sampson. Sampson's quick kick out of the pack, and well marked, very well marked by Tyson. 19 plays 11, five minutes left in the first term. Rusciuto on the lead, won't get there, I don't think. Sexton couldn't hold it, it was a difficult one. McKay's handball had enough strength to get to Ratton. Ratton's handball wide to Sexton. Sexton wobbly kick, but gives Allen a bit of a chance. Allen tries to control it at centre wing. So the Blues certainly still very much in this at 11 to 19. Poor kick. Bickley cuts it off. Crows with a chance here. Cook's been impressive early in this match. He's got Jarman wide. Probably will go a little more direct here. And kicks the ball to set a half forward. Robin Marsh. Good belt from the back there by Manton. Franchina, Rusciuto. Ratton under pressure. Rusciuto able to get hold of it. And Rusciuto goes for goal. And cleverly goes. Beautiful check side kick. Improvisation at its very best there. What a class act Rusciuto is. And the Crows stretch it again to 4-1 to 1-5. He's in some form, isn't he, Rashido? Just watch this again. A good solid punch out there by the Carlton defence. Just jam a good tackle on Ratton just to tie him up on that occasion. The ball spills free, and then Ratton, not Ratton, Rashido trying the banana from about 50 metres out. And your confidence has to be sky high when you attempt to kick like that. Two goals in the first turn to Rashido. And now he's moved up the ground, and Jarman has gone to full forward. Well, he's got the distance and the accuracy. Not clear by Allen, but gathered by Rusciuto, and he pumps it towards centre-half forward. Good mark taken by Kudafidis from behind Robber, and probably favoured with the carry of the ball. He goes wide out to right half-back. Making position out there is Murphy. Marks safely. Short kick. Well marked by White. Gets it to McKay. McKay under a bit of pressure, but got a good, effective long kick to half-forward. Whitnell interferes with Caven. Was that a free kick? Yes, is the umpire. So Peter Caven to take the kick from left half back. The capacity not... crowd here at Football Park. Sorry, Robert. They're not a high position outside the Adelaide Crows. What they do is they kick the ball long and they try and get the ball into their forward line quickly with long direct kicks. Well, that was a long kick out towards centre wing. No mark, but Robburn quickly onto his boot. McKay from behind Edwards. Bradley back to McKay. McKay shrugs the tackle and then kicks it 
out towards the wing. A little bit too high for White. It may sit for that player. The handball, well gathered by Ratton. His handball looking for Brown. Whitnell over the top there was his opponent in Peter Caven. And the umpire decides on a bounce at right half forward, about 65 metres from the Carlton goal. Blues attacking. They've had six scoring shots to five. So you can see, uh, Tim, backing you up a moment ago, the handball's 28 Carlton and 10 Adelaide. What a difference in Adelaide under Blight. The kick towards the pocket, Pierce, and also Goodwin and Allen, and a boundary throw in. I'll be interested to see how they play smart tonight, the uh, Carlton forwards. A lot of sides would elect to try and continue to drag him right back to the full-back line or maybe push him right up into the midfield. But if you allow him to hang across that half-back line, he really can cut you up as a defender. Ratton read it pretty well. Rashido onto him. So Rashido's done a bit of everything, hasn't he, in this opening term? He looks in terrific form, though, doesn't he? Great touch. He just has that spring about him at the moment. Remember that uh, he wanted to play in the state game last week and was ruled out really about a day to go. Bradley snared it well and kicks it well. And Costa keeps his eye on it. Interesting play by Costa. Gee, he's confident. Able to go out wide. Bradley had a good crack at it. Caven's handball puts the pressure now on Sampson. Has to sit. Wait, back turns out of trouble, but over the line, boundary throwing. And Bruce, while that play was deep in Carlton's forward line, Ben Hart actually ran out of defence, left his man in the forward line, and then ran up the ground into the space. And obviously, he would have been the player they were looking to if they got the fast break. Just saw Bond a moment ago with a shoulder. Good uh, take by Pierce, and a clever goal. Is it? No, it's at the post. Good kick by Pierce after the handball put him in space. So a couple of behinds to Pierce. So the Blues, not much luck. We saw Bond a moment ago on the boundary line and also sitting alongside of him, Modra. This is the man Tim was talking about just a few seconds earlier, making some space and a play in Ben Hart. Gee, it looked as though Pierce was trying to emulate Mark Rusciuto, didn't it? Uh, like a check side left foot kick and just missed. Ben Hart's kick in has found uh, Mark Rusciuto. Two goals and here he is along the full back line. Defending for the Crows. They lead 25 to 12. And Mark Rusciuto with the football coming up for kick number six. Runs across the full back line, gets it to Goodwin. Goodwin's got a player unattended, and that is Bassett. So Bassett, who uh, was penalised for crossing the line, kicking in from behind earlier in the quarter, gets the ball to James. Well, they've gone right across the other side of the ground now. Sampson, they could get the length of the ground here. This passage of play. He's first class, Allen, poor kick. It's at centre half forward, Cook, good recovery. Handballs it back, Bickley missed it altogether. A kick off the ground by McKay, only goes as far as Rusciuto, and that's the confidence that Tim Watson was referring to. Gets it to Bickley. Bickley, an ordinary kick toward full forward, but he's been flattened after he kicked the ball. And there'll be a free kick to Adelaide in the goal square, not quite in the goal square, but only about 13 metres out directly in front. Curls. Yeah, Robbo, just going on with Mark, uh, with uh, Rashido. He's been in bed with a heavy dose of the flu this week, so it'll be interesting to see if he can run the game out. And also, at this stage, to down here, the Carlton boys are working harder, but they're nowhere near as smooth with their work. Gee, look at the big uh, shin pad on the right leg there of Sean Wren as he comes in and kicks for goal. He's put it through. Adelaide have got five. So as distinct from the Blues, who are completely inaccurate, one goal, six, the Crows have kicked five goals, one and lead by 19 points. And that's really the only difference, isn't it? The fact that when Adelaide have gone forward, they've been accurate with their kicks. When Carlton have gone forward, they've been inaccurate. But we saw a wonderful build-up from deep in their back half on that occasion. The Adelaide Crows just moved the ball perfectly. So a couple of times tonight, Adelaide have really run the length of the ground, haven't they? Uh, and Edwards' goal earlier, and then Wren getting that one after Bickley was dumped. Brown, after the Allen thump towards centre-half forward, Caven keeps his eye on it. Gee, he's a much-improved player over the last couple of seasons, Caven, and he's won himself a free kick. Become a more robust player, hasn't he, at Adelaide in the last couple of seasons? A real dasher. Probably took a while to get over the uh, tough knock that he took in Sydney that day. And it now seems to be completely confident in himself and the way he plays. Kicks to Robran. The ball's going to come at the back. Bickley read it very well and hooks it back. And Bickley has kicked the goal. I love that. 
The skipper doesn't keep a, kick a whole heap of goals in his career, but that was a very big play. Look at that scoreboard, 6-1, 1-6. And just look at the length of this kick by Caven. And really, it was Mark Bickley who read it best off the pack. He was running into that space behind where the ball was to be contested. But there's a number of long kicking players in this Adelaide side, and they do it extremely well. They do prefer to kick the ball as long as they can quickly into their forward zone. And that's where you often find space if you can get there in there quickly enough. Well, just seconds left in the uh, first quarter. And 6-1 to 1-6. Great uh, conversion by Adelaide. And their fans stand as one and applaud a very, very good first term by the Crows. There's seven weeks to the finals and they're playing premiership football here so far in this match. They lead at quarter time 6-1 to 1-6. They work with this mantra and uh, we're all waiting to see exactly what will happen. Neil suggested, Neil Curley, he'll probably come on after half time. And Smart was very good in the opening term. Malcolm Blight coming down from the coach's box along with David Parkin. But uh, the Blues had their chances, there's no question about that. They had the first three scoring shots, but in the end, the Crows lead by 25 points. The Kings down on the boundary line curls. He's always good for a bit of a smile, Dave. <laughs> he was. He got really revved up there at the end. Diulio had his ankle strapped then. Uh, I think he's okay. Uh, Park said, look, you're getting the footy, but you're not finishing your work, which is correct, of course. And uh, I'll leave you down with the game. Okay, Neil. Maybe come in shortly. Let us know the interchange too. James kicks the ball inside 50. Oh. Front spot was Rice. The Crows with numbers here. And Edwards goes towards goal. Sprays it a bit. Bounces out of play in the right forward pocket. Did Blighty have anything much to say, Neil? Spent quite a bit of time with Rusciuto and Jarman because they've been interchanging full forward ruck rover. And also quite a bit of time with Hart to just watch his movement when he does go forward. Thanks for that, Kurt. So Marsh to do a bit of ruck work here. The Sean Wren lookalike, number 31. He's got the height advantage over here of Manton. Manton did a good job in the front and then probably should have got a high tackle and he's going to get a free kick. So Marsh, well, he's only a kid, but uh, he had a couple of chances there. Interesting also, Robert actually goes out of the forward line when the ball goes in because some of the defenders go in there and Adelaide obviously a little bit concerned that once they all come down the ground, they're going to be crowding their own offensive line. It was uh, Marsh to Murphy to Ratton and Ratton kicked the ball wide. Kudafidis has got the job on Robran. Kudafidis who's um, played 92 consecutive games without a miss. It's a pretty interesting performance. So he's played for nearly five seasons without missing one but boy wouldn't the Blues love a real big one at the moment. He's played some good footy over the years but struggled this season. James's handball didn't go far. Ratton was uh, close to the line and again a boundary throw in. Bradley and Ratton probably the uh, the heart of the engine room for the Blues. They've won five best and fairest between them at Carlton. Matthew Allen's also running away from the ball. Bruce and he's dragging Rem with him. Robram won at that time. Forces forward. McKay to the line and a boundary throw in. So it's Adelaide 6-1. Carlton 1-6. Rusciuto, the multiple goal scorer with a couple. Neil Curley. Interchange for Carlton though. Uh, Massey, Morta, Morton, sorry. Uh, Beaumont and Hogg. And the only change with the Crows, of course, is Bond off. And um, who we got there? Uh, what you, uh, Bond came off, and uh, who came yes, on? Yes, young. Uh, was it Edwards? No. No, it's not Tyson. Tyson. Yes. Well, uh, curls. As you're talking, a little better build-up here by the Blues. Murphy was uh, instrumental in two or three of those hand pass exchanges, but it's going to break down. Tyson grasps the football, then gets it away to James. James to Bickley. Bickley to assess. Kicks in towards the centre of the ground. Nearly taken by Edwards. It was a good attempt at the half volley. Sexton to Allen. Allen just blasts away but kicks it wide. We're out here in front of us on centre wing is Aaron Hamill. Hamill in towards the middle of the ground. Ratton, a handball over the top. They must get a goal out of this. Murphy to uh, the goal square. Marking contest. Pierce one-hander away from Goodwin. It was well played in the finish by Brad Pierce. That's good work one-on-one -on -one there by Pierce. Goodwin just unable to spoil. And it was a pretty good kick here by T Murphy too, just kicking it to the favoured side of Pierce there, who really had Goodwin in check. 
and Pierce has been operating inside the 50 metres all on his own. Well, Pierce surely must get Carl the second goal. And he succeeds in doing so. So badly needed first goal of the second quarter, kicked by Brad Pierce. The Blues 2 6, 18, trail Adelaide 6 1 37. Well, he's been their number one forward player this season, Brad Pierce. Kicked over 30 goals now. Just a better build up on that occasion. But the time before, Murphy once again invented a handball that really wasn't needed. And all they do is they just chew up time in that midfield and they don't get the ball into their forward line quickly enough. Pierce getting the first goal of the second term. So Whitman and Pierce, the goal scorers for the Blues here. 6 1 to 2 6. They close the gap. Allen and Wren, it's been an even duel in the centre. Brown, Jarman onto him, and also James, and again a bounce. It's a game of centimetres, isn't it? Oh, Fraser Brown oh. just dragging it back in as Ratton was about to swoop on that. Chris Mitchell, John Harvey, Derek Humphrey Smith, 4 25 27 respectively. The umpires tonight. Allen. Belts forward. James tried to hold it up. Ratton tried to get it out. Bradley's handball was good. Murphy's had a lot of the ball. 10th position. Beautiful kick. Pierce, reasonable effort taken by Giulio with him, Ellen. Giulio running it towards the line. Ellen toe poking it almost over the line and a boundary throw in. Great crowd here tonight. Very close to full. Must be 45,000. And a boundary throw in in the left forward pocket. Carlton attacking. 18 to 37. Goal here would be really handy. We close up this match. Wren, Allen, Wren belts away only as far as Camper really arches his back, bends back. Good kick, he's got it. Terrific goal. Well, how's that, Tim? The two men who missed a couple in the first quarter, both Pierce and Camparelli, have been able to get the early goals in the second term. They both kick one, two. And now the Blues have closed the game. And that's the difference, isn't it? They did take the ball forward in the first quarter, as we talked about, but they just couldn't buy a goal. And in the, this occasion, they've taken the ball forward and they've kicked two goals. And there it is on the scoreboard. They're now really well within this game because even in that first term, they weren't kicking accurately, but they were still doing pretty well in general play, although they still tend to overpossess the ball, and that's going to get them in trouble. So 13 points is the margin. Murphy to take the ball away. Gave it up to Ben Hart. Ben Hart quickly onto his right foot. Kicks the ball to half forward. And nearly swooping on it. It was beautifully read by Edwards. Not able to gather the ball. Sexton to knock it forward. Ratton missed it all together. Cook handballs it back. Rashudo tackled. Still got the footy. Gave it up. The hand pass back into the middle of the ground. Camper rally. Gee, wasn't Wren desperate at ground level. For a big man, he certainly has a desire to help his side and get that footy forward. Curls. Yeah, Robbo and Tim, how do you see the situation? All Australian centre-half back on the wing and a, a goal-kicking wingman at centre-half back. How do you see that one? Well, it's an unusual one. I mentioned that early in the first quarter about Sexton lining up on Costa. I guess they're just trying to get a little bit more of a marking power. Maybe a mismatch across the centre of the ground using when they go forward. Camparelli's kick is well marked by Caven. And Peter Caven. I'm sure it's the confidence in the fact that Malcolm Blight continues to play and that uh, helps his performances immensely. My, Nigel Smart to Hart, and Hart has the football for Adelaide across half-back. Short kick is all right. Sampson has taken the mark. He's between half-back and centre wing. The Crows lead 6-1 to 3-6. Nigel Smart, hasn't he run some distance there? And has got the football, not quite up to the wing, Marsh was nearly his intention, but then decides to go long down the wing, Allen. But Sexton just maybe kept out of that marking contest yeah. and the infringement against the Adelaide player. I think it was Costa who actually ran at Sexton as he prepared to take that mark. Halfback Sexton. So Sexton and Kudafidis, the two players that uh, Tim and Neil were talking about, taken by uh, Marsh. Handball to Edwards. Edwards to Cook. Cook back to Edwards, could build up. Marsh gets in his road. Edwards balances and sets himself and kicks to the goal square. And Allen back there makes a bit of a mirror of it. And it's a behind. Bruce, it's the first time I've seen Marsh play. And <laughs> he is extremely impressive, isn't he? A tall fellow who has the athleticism of one of the mid size type players. And Crikey, you have to pinch yourself to realise that he's only played a couple of games of AFL football. Rice to Ratton, back to Rice, kicks to White. White wide to Brown. 
the Blues having a good second turn. Short to Diulio at centre wing. Diulio runs away, then kicks the ball to centre half forward. Allen is the target, crows all around him. He almost held it. James front spot. He's unlucky not to get a free kick. Smart, well played by Hamill, and then belts it forward. White's handball on the up. Bradley eludes, evades, clever by Bradley. On the left kick, uh, foot delivers beautifully to Sexton. Mm, thought about running on, he's got Camper really wide. He's got Pierce. he's got a couple of options. Murphy's the best one, look at this one. He'll find him, though hard. Probably took just a touch long, Sexton, to kick to uh, Murphy, and Ben Hart was able to get back and save the day. But Carlton challenging strongly here at 6-2 to 3-6. Isn't Ben Hart such a tremendous player? Just kept his eye right on the football and affected that uh, boundary throw in. A big punch for the clearance. Whitnell to do the ruck work. The ball spills to the back. Brown held by the jumper. Gets the hand pass to Ratton. Ratton shoots for goal. I'd suggest he's kicked it. Good goal by Brett Ratton. Ratton's kicked his first and the Blues have kicked three goals to Adelaide. So far goalless early in this second term. The Blues 4-6. Trail Adelaide 6-2. And they're working really hard in the pack situations, Carlton. They did this in the first term, but they just didn't get the reward for their effort. They're actually starting to kick accurately, and they're taking this game right up to the Adelaide Crows. Bradley's been a very good player, had 12 touches already. But, uh, they've played each other on 12 occasions, and only three times here at Football Park. Carlton has a big edge over Adelaide all time in their head-to-head uh, -head clashes. Hamill, smart. And again, a bounce down. Neil Curley. Uh, the Crows are just finding it very difficult to get a start in this second quarter. The, uh, as we said in the first quarter, the Blues are outworking them, and now they're starting to finish their work off. And growing in confidence at the moment, girls, the Blues. No yeah. question about that. They've been given a sniff here. They've earned it. And they're right back in the ball game. Hart, James... And that'll be a bounce. The Blues have been honest all year, really, though. They've had a couple of poor games. As we see Tony Modra just warming up on the boundary line. There'll be a thunder of applause if he actually makes his way onto the field. But just getting back to that point, Carlton have been beaten on a number of occasions, but they've always been pretty honest in their work rate. And we've seen that again tonight. Marsh, Whitnell, back to James. James gets the ball out of half back to centre wing. Murphy's got it. He's had a lot of the ball tonight. Bradley's at centre if he wants him. He plays on quickly and kicks the ball to the pocket. Now, Carlton have got some numbers at the back here. Big fly, Whitnell, and a good mark from the side. So, Carlton going very, very well here. Manton pretty good there, too. I'm sure that uh, Manton just edging out Marsh. Not able to get at the punch. So, Whitnell, as Mondra, I think, has uh, actually moved out of the interchange bench. Have a listen to this. It might be the moment. In fact, he's coming on. So Whitney to go for goal, and he's kicked it as Mudra comes on. Has any opposition player received such a cheer for kicking the goal ever as Whitnell has? <laughs> well, actually, before the game you spoke about this, Bruce, you thought that perhaps Mudra would start on the bench. If there was a lull in proceedings, if Malcolm Blade in the coaching box perhaps thought that he needed to get a bit of a boost, a bit of a charge in his ranks, he may bring Mudra onto the ground. And I think he's perhaps since that. There's certainly a buzz around the stadium now. Whether or not that can lift the other players as Glenn Manton just welcomes Tony Modra back to AFL football. Well, that must be for team balance because uh, Manton was up in the forward line. He's gone straight to Modra as soon as he came on the ground. Whitnell came off the ground and Beaumont's gone to the, the key forward area for the Blues. They'll get clear again. Bradley, no, the kick smothered off the boot, but he's able to get the hand pass out to Rice. Rice, who has been a terrific player for the Blues over many years now. The punch away. The contest now at right half forward. White, did that come off Nigel Smart's boot? No. Rushed over in the finish for a boundary throw in right half forward for Carlton. So the Blues, quite inaccurate in the first quarter. have kicked four straight so far in the second term. Allen getting in front, doing well against Wren. Ball spills to Ratton. Ratton's left foot kick across the half forward line is marked there by Beaumont. So Beaumont, short pass in towards full forward. Pierce, the ball spills to the front. Sexton's made good ground, but it's knocked away by James. Costa over the top was Pierce, looking for the free kick, not forthcoming. The umpire will bounce. 
well within scoring distance for Carlton. Well, in season 1998, the Blues on the road, unsuccessful so far. 40 metres from goal, White over the top, Hart to Smart, his kick. Sexton punches it away from Costa and then goes after it. Bradley gathers the crumbs, a high ball will land within scoring distance and a good mark taken by Sean Wren. Big man, big presence and does well for the Crows across that full back line. 38 plays, 36 Adelaide lead by two points. Pass it to the down low and then delivers to Bickley at half back. And as Neil said, the Crows just haven't been able to get a start in this quarter. Nothing has happened for them. And Carlton is within a kick. Beaumont at the back did well. Handled by Rice is a beauty to Murphy getting a lot of it. So is Ratton in towards the centre. White tackled by Smart. On the up now to McKay. McKay to Beaumont. Good tackle of the back by Caven to bring him down. McKay forces forward. Brown's clever handball. Hamill can finish. Kick to Allen in the goal square. Well, all alone here. And suddenly the Blues can hit the front. That uh, stat a moment ago about Carlton not winning interstate is correct, obviously, but if you analyse their performances, they've been beaten by eight points by West Coast and eight points by Fremantle in their two interstate matches. They've been two pretty tidy efforts. They've been competitive all the way outside of Melbourne. And here, they're doing a great job against the odds, and they're about to hit the front, you reckon, because Allen will kick from 15 or 20 metres out. He hooks it a bit, but he's kicked the goal, and the Blues are in front. I'll tell you what, Tim, if somebody had told you at quarter time that at some stage in the second quarter, Carlton would be in front, I think you would have looked twice at them. Well, their fierceness in the second term has just been terrific, and there's no doubt that David Parker would be extremely happy with what he's seen in the second term of football. The springboard to the attack for the Adelaide Crows, which is half back, they have not been able to get their hands on the ball and go forward. Nigel Smart really hasn't been in the play in this second term. And the advantage is with Carlton, just a three-point margin. Adelaide, six of their last seven matches, they've been successful. Still to kick a goal in the second term. Porter and Wren. Wren gets the posse and then punches it clear. Now free kick has gone to Porter. How'd you see that, Tim? Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just watch you get again. Just Jeez. strength by the big bloke, wasn't it? I wouldn't it? have thought there was a free kick in that. Just good strength, wasn't it? And Brown is on the end of the pass, and he's within scoring distance, Fraser Brown. So the Blues with a three-point advantage. Can Fraser Brown make it nine? It'll take a good kick to get the distance. And he's going to have a flying shot at it. By oh, geez, kicked it close. Whitnall, but it's punched over by Sean Wren. Defending Grandy for the Crows. 43 plays, 39. Carlton by four points. Close to the half-time break. And that's Bassett limping. Maybe a bit of cramp or... Ankle injury, maybe. The kick-in has been marked there by Ben Hart. Got it from Goodwin. And now goes long Ben Hart. And very wide. It's close to out in the fall it is. And the Crows are in a hole here. Nothing happening for them, and uh, full credit to the Blues. Lucky not to be paid a 50-metre penalty there too, Nigel. Smart, he actually punched the ball away over the boundary line and up into the crowd, and I saw a 50-metre penalty paid a couple of weeks ago at Subiaco for a similar incident. Short by Camparelli, in board. Bradley has had so much of the football. Kicks to set a half forward. Porter's been good since coming on. Murphy's been fantastic, and goes for it and drills it. What a goal! He's been brilliant. He's been a few goals to the right of screen. 7-7 seven, seven to 6-3. We've had 13 goals skip, and 12 of them have been to the right hand end of the ground. What a game Murphy's playing here tonight. He has been brilliant. Robbo said it a moment ago, 17 possessions, four marks, and that long goal, it's just been his work up the ground, and that's where Carlton have taken control. They've been fierce at the ball, and they certainly have Adelaide back on their heels. Well, Justin Murphy having a party in the middle of football park. 17 possessions and has just kicked Carlton's seventh goal. And Bradley to go forward once again. He's been terrific as well. Short kick has been marked by White. Back to Bradley to get back onto his right. Then kicks towards centre-half forward. 
Brown makes a good contest. Wren gathers nicely and gathers with determination. The hand pass, Rashudo. Smart running, and this is what he was doing in the first quarter, Nigel Smart. He goes for Migra. Manton's back there, but Migra's done well. Used the body brilliantly, Tony Migra. And the delighted Crows fans, well, they love Tony Migra. And I think football fans all over Australia just love to see this man playing Aussie rules footy. He did it well too, didn't he? He propped... He was claimed in by Manton, but he just had the strength to shrug him off, and the ball was just kicked perfectly to his favoured side. Mogra from only 30, 35 metres, goes for goal, he's got it! He's kicked the goal! So a great return. He's only been on the ground a few minutes, and he's kicked that late seventh goal. When the Blues led by 10, he brings it back to four. It was a good build-up on this occasion, too, by the Adelaide Crows. They had the numbers. It was a good kick by Nigel Smart. And that'll do Modra's confidence the world of good. Difficult to come back after a knee reconstruction. You have all sorts of doubts in your mind. And there's nothing like getting the ball to the boot for the first time and seeing it sail between the big sticks. Well, it's electrifying here, as you can imagine, wherever you're watching. The crowd have gone wild here with the Modra mark and goal. So the Crows back within four points. The Blues have had a wonderful quarter. Wren was good in that exchange a moment ago with that first handball releasing Rusciuto. Beaumont to Brown. Carlton has won the midfield clearly. Whitnell, what a player he is at 18 years of age. Two goals in this opening half. He can go all the way and kick this. He's 50 out. The goal square's vacant. He kicks it over the top and goals. He's third. Clever. He's a smart footballer. He saw the opportunity. He didn't overkick it, did he? He just measured it. And that is the perfect reply to the Modra goal. You've got to keep pinching yourself that this bloke's still a oh, kid too. Yeah. He's still got plenty of improvement left in him. But once again, Fraser Brown out of the centre. That's where the game starts. If you can win those hard balls, those 50-50 out of that congestion, send it forward quickly, then you give your forwards a chance of competing one-on-one. -on -one. So a quick answer by the Blues. The third goal to Lance Whitnell, and they lead again by 10 points. 55 plays, 45, two minutes left in the first half. Porter emphatically through the arms there of Wren. Kicked by James, back towards half forward. Kudafidis from Stevens. The ball with Dean Rice. He's underneath there. Oh, when that happens, you have your heart in your mouth. Dean Rice maybe thought it was a push in the back reading the body language there but the umpire having nothing of that he will bounce at centre half forward for Adelaide and if Stevens can't start getting his hands on the ball at centre half forward it might be time to bring Caven up to centre half forward to see whether or not he may be the answer tonight they certainly are breaking down across that centre half forward position but that's not the only spot, spot at the moment they can't get enough ball supply out of their midfielders Carlton is certainly on top there and then they just don't get the drive when the ball's tied up like the Carlton uh, offensive players, their forward players tonight have been terrific at holding the ball in too. Well, there's that man, Mark Stevens, kick smothered. Sexton to kick it back to the wing. Bouncing ball, very well taken by Massey. Dragged to the ground, Cook's in trouble. Tackled by Franchina, Stevens in strike. The ball's still pretty hot at half forward. Franchina in there is Costa, he can't break away. Fraser Brown, Darren Jarman gets onto the football, but Murphy's locked him up, and the umpire will be forced to bounce. Or will he? Quickly in there, John Harvey. Just checking if there were any indiscretions. In and under there, and he's decided on a bounce. It's uh, probably a kick and a half from the Crows' goal. We're into the last minute of the first half, and the Blues, after trailing by 25 points a quarter time, have a 10-point advantage. Stevens trying to break away, unsuccessful, and so he'll bounce again. And Neil Curley down yeah, the boundary yeah, line. Yeah, one of the reasons, Tim, I don't think Darren Jarman's had a possession this quarter. Now, you can't have that type of player playing on a game on the ground and not find the ball. And the other thing they're doing, Curls, is they're also taking Sean Wren out of the play. Oh, they're yeah. running him right up the other end of the ground, so he has no effect on this game whatsoever around the field. Well, that's nothing new, Tim. Bradley and Costa there. But the Blues going forward. They're going to be in front at half time. I think you would have got pretty big odds about that at quarter time when they trailed 1 6 to 6 1. He's had eight possessions, Sean Wren, five and three, and just one mark tonight. Smart, and with him, Sexton. 
Bickley, well done. Bickley on the left foot, awkward looking kick. Just inside 50, McKay sets himself, taken cleverly by Rusciuto as the siren sounds. So what a half by the Blues here. Fantastic performance by Carlton. A really outstanding second quarter when they have turned this game around and right now have put themselves into a winning position. A lot of footy still to be played. Modra kicked a goal. It's 7-3 to 8-7. First 10 minutes, pretty important here, Tim. If Carlton can hold, because you'd expect uh, Adelaide to come out really charged here and running, wouldn't you? Yes, and uh, Modra's heading down to full forward. We've got Robram back on the ground at centre-half forward. And the big fella Marsh will go down into the forward pocket. So they're almost lining up as they did at the start of the game, except for Rashuda, who will be on the ball. And up the other end of the ground, we see Whitnell at centre-half forward, Hamill around centre-half forward, wide up around the midsection too. And Darren Jarman on the wing now. Costa has actually changed wings. He's gone on the other side of the ground. And Costa, and sorry, Jarman will now be picked up by Sexton. So that's going to be an interesting duel between those two players. 7 3 to 8 7 was the scoreline of the long change. Carton go to the left of screen here. Allen and Wren. Allen's done a really top job in the first half. And when Porter came on, he got involved quickly. Jarman with the footy. He's going to need to lift here. Average first quarter, we had four kicks, none of them really effective, and then really didn't get involved at all in the second term. Chris Mitchell, John Harvey, Derek Humphrey-Smith. Our umpires tonight, 4.25 and 27. Allen, Wren, Wren belts it back. I think Carlton have read Wren very well tonight, and no-one's read him better than Murphy to Camparelli. Good tackle on him, but clever. Goodwin, just a big lead. Did he throw it? He did. Umpire was well-placed. It looked as if it had to be a throw for him to get it to him. And let's have a look again. Did he just hand it over? Yep, he threw it to Bickley and the umpire. Camparelli's kick. Floats it inside 50. Whitnell, clever again to Sexton. Sexton on the left boot. Gets the ball to within about 10 metres of the goal, even closer. And Allen at the back, juggling. Ball was certainly out of play when he controlled it. The umpire, the umpire's going to come in. No, I think it'll be a boundary throw. It should be a boundary throw, won't they? they? Well, it should, should be a boundary throw. Tell him what's going on. It's a boundary throw. Yeah. Thank you. Bruce, uh, around the middle of the ground, you mentioned about Darren Jarman. Curls brought it to, to our notice there. Uh, but Kim Costa also, Tim, only five possessions in the first half. Yeah, well, you'd have to say that Sexton actually won that duel. I reckon Costa's a far more damaging player when he's really in where the action is. And that's on the ball. Hamill got it from Orman Allen and delivers a goal. A goal to the Blues. They're not going to lie down, are they? This is a real game of footy now. What have Carlton kicked? They've kicked eight out of the last nine goals in this match. And the Crows have got problems. Carlton is making a run here, and it's a serious one. 9 7 to 7 3. Well, they've been good, Carlton, tonight with their ability to keep the ball in their own forward line. This bloke on screen now, I'm really impressed with the way Aaron Hamill plays. Doesn't have a lot of pace, but he's a wonderful competitor. And now they've got two players in that forward line at the moment. They've got Whitnell and also Hamill, who are prepared to work hard and lock the ball in. And Nigel Smart now has to adjust. Had a smaller running player. Now he's got a taller marking player in Hamill. Tell you what, good hands there by Dean Rice, marking from behind, and kicks it long and kicks it with precision. Brown's got some space. He can run. Then kicks towards the half-forward area. And the mark taken by Allen. Wren just missing that, but he's able to intercept the hand pass and Allen to kick the ball back. It really should have been a very important kick for Carlton. It's downfield, Robbo. And now the free kick for Adelaide in the middle of the ground to be taken here by James Tyson. So the Blues leading by 16 after trailing by 25 at quarter time, a 41-point turnaround since that break. Tyson to kick the ball to within scoring distance for Adelaide. Punched away, Brown again. But he's held up on this occasion by Costa. And the umpire will bounce. A couple of hard at the ball type players there. Entangled. Blues, the first goal of the second half, importantly so. Bradley trying to uh, just get away from Costa. Kudafidis, ball spills for Ratten. Now Rice is a chance. He knocks it out into the path here of uh, Sexton. Not able to gather. James tackled. Got the handball away, Rusciuto, long kick to the goal front. 
Manton couldn't take the mark. Mogra, second goal to Tony Mogra. He's hooked it too far. You wouldn't believe it. So Tony Mogra, one goal, one in his comeback game. Certainly must get better, surely. Showed good agility then, Robert, though, didn't he? My word. The way he just pounced on that ball after it was spoiled and almost able to screw the ball back on his left foot. Bradley with his big first half behind him. He must feel like he's coming home when he comes to Footy Park. And that's uh, pinpoint accuracy to Camparelli. He's kicked down the line. Diulio couldn't quite do it. And Marsh, can he get over the top of it? Forces for it. Jarman's hand's good. Rashudo finds some space. And wastes of footy, really. That's not a good kick. He had to kick to the front of the goal square under the hammer. Murphy lets him know about it. Neil Curley. It's interchange for Carl Massey, Porter, Beaumont and Hogg. The Crows, uh, Bassett and Bond, and like to take any further part, both those. Stevens and Cook. Has Bassett done his ankle, Neil? Has he? Do you know uh, for sure? No, they, they're saying it's just under behind the knee. Right. So that was when uh, Wren and Bassett forced the ball forward. Uh, forced the ball through for a behind danger by Diulio. Good mark by Camparelli. It was a pretty good kick too in the end because it had to be spot on. And the Blues are teasing the Crows a bit here from the back. Coming away Silvani and he's got Allen. They've worked this out pretty well, Carlton. They've been able to find a space a bit like Adelaide did in the first uh, quarter when they were able to run the ball down the ground. Hamill, smart, lucky not to give the free kick away smart there. Boundary throw in. It's 9-7 to 7-4. And Adelaide are going to have to dig deep here. They've won six out of their last seven. They came into this match as the shortest price favourites of the weekend. 7-1 to one on against the Blues. And right now, Carlton is uh, in the... A very strong position. Well, Rashudo may be fortuitously a high tackle. He's got it at centre wing. He was so important early for the Crows. Neil told us that he had been bedridden for a lot of the week. And just how much energy has he got? Robin's important. He needs to get involved. So does Darren Jarman. Costa pops it up. Marsh a target. Ellen there. Marsh a second or third juggle. Manton has been good. Tyson running out of room. Hooking back still in play. Modra let back cleverly. Paved the way. Goodman kicked the goal. Well played Modra. Lucky bounce maybe. But Modra actually set that up. And the Crows with a bit of luck get the goal they needed so desperately. I don't think he actually intended to set up a goal here. You actually wondered how they were going to find themselves a goal because they kept getting pushed wider and wider, but he just held Silvani on that occasion. It was a lucky bounce, and then they had the players just running into that space behind. And that is a much-needed goal. Well, to say it was a badly needed goal for the Crows may be a slight understatement, but certainly it's been uh, a fair while for between drinks. They kicked six goals in the first quarter, one in the second term, and they've kicked their eighth goal well into the third quarter. They still trail by nine points. Bradley just found some space. Wasn't that magical stuff by Bradley to Sexton? Sexton to half forward, Pierce. Now the ball for Hamill. Hamill over the top. The ball must sit here for Bradley. Strongly buffed off the football by Ormond Allen. And that really is a critical turnover. The Blues may get clear. White's brilliantly tackled out there by Bickley. And the ball locked up. And that was a sensational effective tackle by Mark Bickley. Just watch this. Terrific the way he just tied up White on that occasion. Because they had the numbers. If the ball was to spill free, then Murphy was on his way. Nine points to margin. Allen tries to get it down. Ratton's got it. Handball wider. Murphy uses the ball pretty well normally. Kicks into the pocket. Punched away by Rashudo for a boundary throw in. Nigel Smart. Very much a key player in the setup for the Crows in the first quarter when they led by 25 points, 6 1 to 1 6. The Blues led at half time by 10 points. It is now a nine-point margin in favour of Carlton. Wren starting to have an impact. Rusciuto, can he get past? No. Spills to De Ulio. De Ulio's kick towards full forward. Can Whitnell grab the ball? He can. He can't get past Caven, but he kicks the ball to the front of the square and well tidied up here by Allen. Jarman's got it and hasn't had much of it, so he's going to be a key here. Good play by Allen. Whitnell's kick was... Uh, 
the right option. Jarman to Rashudo in space. Important if Ratton can get to him. Well played Rashudo on his knees and then delivers cleverly to Costa. Wonderful football there by Rashudo. Costa at half forward. Marsh leads quickly. And now Modra. Silvani Modra. Robin getting involved with Mark. Lovely stretch. He's been quiet tonight. He boomed one torpedo punt from uh, left half forward early in the match when Rashudo got on the end of it. But Rodburn with his first real chance to kick a goal. He's normally so accurate and from a fair way out. This one, 35 metres out. Well, he, and, sorry. Sorry, he could have been right out of the play, haven't they? Rodburn from 40 metres guides it straight through the middle. He, I think if you had to really want something on the end of it, he's one of the best kicks in the comp, don't you, from about 40 to 50 metres. And he was able to goal, and the pros have got two important goals here. Just... Kudafidis and Robin have almost been out of the play all night. They've only had about five or six possessions between them, and when you consider how much talent there is in that duo, it really is surprising. So back at Football Park, the Blues now, the challenge being uh, thrust upon them now by the Crows. They've kicked uh, successive goals, the Adelaide side, and they go forward again through Allen. He's kicked in the area of Robin. It spills. Chance here now, Tyson, shrug the tackle, play on. Oh, Franchina to Kudafidis. The Blues will get out of trouble, and a disputed decision there by the umpire. The Crows, oh, good mark to Hamill. Smart seemed to lose it completely and it slipped through his fingers in the mark. Well, what's this around the neck? It looked as though it may have been against Andrew uh, McKay. Brown in towards the middle, taken by Allen. Allen into the pocket, not a bad kick either. On the end of it is Whitnell and he's certainly uh, causing uh, the Crows some sort of concern. Young Lance Whitnell, he's kicked towards full forward. It spills to the back. Allen knocks it in front of himself. Camparelli leaves it. Hamill. Back goes Allen for another contest. Well done by Shane Allen. Taken by Hamill. Tackled by Samson. Some intensity here. Dulio's caught. Shrugs the tackle. And then kicks it towards centre half forward. No one home for the Blues. Matthew Allen grabs it. Handball away. But chopped off by Edwards. His hand pass. Still a great contest. Kicked off the ground by Edwards. But the Crows may get a free kick. Being held without the football there was... Is it? Goodwin, is it? Goodwin for Adelaide at centre half back. Down to Neil Curley. Yeah, Robbo, the intensity is lifted here in this third quarter. The Crows have woken up and they're having a bit of a crack at this now. Three points the margin. Let's see if the Blues can respond. They've been so good since quarter time. And they were very good early in the match. Tyson, nice grab from the front. At centre wing, Rice on him. And Ben Hart running for him. We talked about this earlier, Tim Hart coming down the ground. And this time he's been able to take a mark between centre wing and half forward. Marsh and Modra, a couple of targets. Can Modra take a run at it? He does and oh. takes a beauty. And the crowd just about lifts the roof off the stadium here. He timed it so well. Took off late, didn't he? I don't think Silvani thought he was going to go in the end. Let's see if he can finish it off. His first kick was a good one. And he's shown a bit tonight already. This to put Adelaide in front. Modra from 40 metres out has delivered the goods. He's back all right. Well, Steven Spielberg would have looked at your script, Tim, and would have said, I'll take that, Modra, to put him in front. That'll do. It's an impressive comeback, isn't it? When you consider that he's almost spent 12 months on the sidelines and just... To have the touch that he's shown tonight after being held on the bench for about a quarter and a half. He's come onto the ground, he's taken a couple of marks, he's missed a couple of goals, but he's just moved with surety and confidence. Well, certainly terrific work there by Tony Modra to get Adelaide's 10th goal. He's personally second goal, and they'll get clear of the centre again, Wren. Having an impact in the early part of the third quarter. He's kicked a half forward, punched away by Kudafidis. Nearly gathered by Rice. Well done, Tyson to Bickley. Bickley spots a player wide, and they share it to Samson and Rashudo. And Rashudo is marked on his chest about 40 metres out. So the momentum now swings 
with the Crows. They lead by three points. Still plenty of time left in this third quarter. 11 minutes to be exact. And Rashudo maybe to give the Crows a nine-point advantage. Impressive stats for Mark Rashudo. Going for his third goal. Will get the distance. Good kick too. It's a goal. So three goals to Rashudo. He along with Lance Whitmore, the leading goal kickers on the ground, three apiece. Well, we talk about it so often, don't we? The benefit of actually getting the ball and clearing it from that centre bounce. On that occasion, Sean Wren decided that he'd do it all on his own. Just a long, long kick into the forward line. There was the contest with Robram and Kutafis. The ball hit the ground, and the Crows had all their players running at the crumb, and that's where they set it up from. And they certainly are right back in control at the moment. 17 of the 20 goals to the right of the screen. There's no real reason for it. It's just been the pattern of the night. Bickley and suddenly Adelaide taking charge with the leads only nine points. So that's uh, a long, long way to go in this match and Carlton is still very much involved. White's got it at uh, centre wing. The fact that the Blues could come back so well in the second quarter is going to give them a lot of heart for the rest of this match. Centre wing, I reckon Hamill's done a good job. Bickley well played. He's been very good, the skipper tonight. He's under the hammer here. He couldn't get a handle on it. Carlton are worrying him out of it and it's going to be a ball up. He's a good prospect, Hamill, just 20, and uh, looks a very good player. He works hard, Bruce, for a forward. He works extremely hard. He contests. He's good overhead. Not a quick player, and not overly tall player. About six foot two, six three in the old money. That's a warming up hard. We just saw that Adelaide number one in defence. They were that last year, and we talked about that off camera before the game. But Malcolm Blight, who had such offensive teams, as Sampson kicks to centre wing, Robin's got it. At Geelong has been able to turn Adelaide into the meanest defending team in the comp. Costa broke the tackle, he's in trouble, he's gone, holding it. Oh. Well, he's lucky. He should have been gone there, he'd had prior opportunity, Brown's handball was good. Franchina held up, gets a free kick. After Murphy had given it to him, advantage paid, and Bradley gets it out quickly. To Camparelli, who kicks to Pierce on the lead. Hart did a very good job. That's a good matchup between those two. The ball's still 45 metres away. Goodwin gets it out towards the line. All Allen's out there. Carton have got numbers. Is it out of play? No, still in. I think it's going to be a bounce. About 50 metres from Carlton's goal. They're 9-7 at late 11-4. Fantastic defensive play then by Hart. He was caught out. He was in no man's land, really. Pierce was going to get the ball, but he just hit early, hit his arm early. Interesting, too, because Orman Allen probably should have been pinged for holding it, except Camper really put him in the best headlock you've ever seen. As he kicks the ball to full forward, Smart's in the front spot and took a very strong mark. He's going to come wide here. Now, is Jarman? No, it's out wider still. Costa's running for it. Is it Shane Ellen now? So, Ellen. Been pretty good, Ellen. What the old kick to Marsh. Big fella's got hold of it, and Manton with him, and they ran it out of play, boundary throwing. So, Adelaide with the momentum at the moment, Carlton needing the next goal. Julio off the ground, and Matthew Hogg having his first run for the evening. Boundary throw in, about two kicks probably, 80 metres around from the Adelaide goal. Rashudo looked to, a chance to run onto it. Brown, back to Bradley, gives it to Kutafidis. Kutafidis high, sitting under it, Sexton. Looks maybe to play on quickly. He does so now, and the hog might be a chance quickly. And he was nearly crunched there. He's going to be paid the mark. He can go down the line again. Ordinary oh. kick. Very ordinary. Well, he's only just come on the ground, so maybe he's trying to pick up the tempo. He's made that mistake. That's Fortunately it. for him, it didn't go out on the full, so boundary throw-in will take place. That's right. You've got to keep warming up if you're on the boundary line. It's his first run for the night. The legs get heavy when you just sit there in the cold. Very important, I feel, in the context of this game that the Blues get the next goal. They trail by nine points, having led by ten at half-time, and they did kick the first goal of the second half. It's a 25-point turnaround in about the last ten minutes or so of this third quarter. 11-6 to six inside 50. Hogg. Tap on by Whitnell was terrific. Hamill... Bradley, she sit under this and play fair, Adam White. Ben Hart, Hogg not able to take it, cost a good gather. Samson, little left foot kick, but go down the ground. Nigel Smart out in the open, he's got acres. Plenty of room, 
third bounce. He kicks the ball pretty good too, Nigel Smart. Into the pocket, Modra. A little difficult for Tony Modra, but not difficult for Steven Silvani. He gathers a little indecision, goes into the middle of the ground. Strong effort by Hamill. Jarman to make the Blues pay. Quickly onto his boot to half forward. At the back, Rice. Franchina, now Silvani. No one to give it to. Still Rice. Kudafis and then McKay. The Blues away from their half back line out wide. Too far for White. And the boundary umpire will throw it in between wing and left half forward favouring Adelaide. The Crows lead by nine points. 70 plays 61 with seven and a bit minutes left in the third term. Boundary thrown with Wren and Porter. Bradley, how good has he been tonight? Brown and Ratton, they're the three boys that did so well in the first half. Wren held up. Sexton's getting a fair bit of it at the moment. Hogg, a little handball was good. Brown's handball was excellent to White, who uses Camparelli. Camparelli hooks it back. He wants Pierce or Hamill to take a big one. Smart flies high. Hamill reads it very well. He's been busy. Back to Sexton. Sexton's wobbly kick didn't have anything on it. Mark by Coven. Coven kicks it wide. Costa the Crows could make them pay to Hart here. Hart delivers a floating kick, but the Blues have got numbers here all right. Kudafini's well played. Ty Cern nearly. Kuda delivers nicely to Brown. An important build up here. Goes to the pocket. Can Whitney win a one on one? Yes, he can. He shoves Caven in the back and gives away a free kick. And Bickley has gone onto Murphy and really shut him down in this third term. To Caven from the back pocket. It's a big, big play, wasn't it? For both clubs, 70 to 61. Suddenly, goals are getting hard again, aren't they? It's dried up in the last few minutes as the defences are getting. Uh, on top, good mark, not paid by oh. Porter. Maybe Wren got a grab, but look, Porter's didn't it? The crowd tonight is 42,713, which is the biggest crowd in Adelaide this year. 42,713. Double change for the Blues. Sexton and Pierce off for Massey and Beaumont. And Massey straight on there to uh, Darren Jarman. And Beaumont going to full forward. Bradley trying to uh, clear the congestion. And it spills wide now. Murphy. Handball, Bradley, Brown, he's tackled, but gets it back to Murphy. Murphy handball, gee, put Rice under a bit of pressure. Bradley quickly onto his boot, kicks the ball towards half forward, but getting back is Wren. He's played a good third quarter, Sean Wren. Ormond Allen in trouble. The hand pass, a little too high there for Ben Hart. That ball, difficult to gather, but he makes it look easy, doesn't he, Ben Hart? He's a terrific player. And Goodwin to run down the ground, gets onto his favoured left foot, kicks it to within scoring distance. Back there, McKay. Still Andrew McKay under pressure. Rashudo to run him down. Silvani can find some space. Gets the handball to Franchino. Then the combination. McKay out wide. Out into the path of Manton. The ball sits a little bit for Manton. His tap on for Hamill was all right. Hamill goes back and gathers. And then the short kick by Hamill is all right and finds Hogg. Centre wing inside to Ratton. Now the important play, Ratton to deliver. It's uh, the full forward. Beaumont did well against uh, Hart. Beaumont to kick the goal. Left foot's a good one. It's going to go through. It's a goal. The Blues are back in it. He did a great job, Beaumont, against Hart. So the switch there with Pierce earlier on Hart in this term. But we've got to probably go back to Manton at half back when he was able to push the ball forward under great pressure and create the loose man. And then Beaumont able to finish. That was the important goal for the Blues, wasn't it? It's courageous play by the Carlton defence and then just not giving in this Carlton side. They're showing a lot of character tonight. And one would have thought that maybe the Crows would run away with this game in the second, third team. So the Blues, after uh, Adelaide had wrenched away the advantage, kicked their 10th goal. And a disputed ball, Costa, Murphy and Ratton to lock the ball up and uh, well the Adelaide fans I thought I think they all came in expectation of uh, Tony Modra's return I think they probably thought that they might get the money fairly comfortably but the Blues have taken it up to the Crows and at the moment they trail to uh, Carlton by three points Kuda finish to go back but Silvani isn't he sure he just keeps his eye on the footy he's got awareness Franchina's kick out wide is taken by McKay McKay in turn finds Bradley Bradley can go short too He's got a player in Massey. Massey must move. 
goes back and lets the uh, players get back and man up. So Massey just taking a few precious seconds too long. He kicks in the Whitnell area. Oh. Through goes Porter, couldn't take the mark. Hamill knocked away by Ben Hart. Good contest provided by Beaumont. Still Hamill and Hogg. And Not Robert, able to control it. And Robbo Carlton trying to expose Darren Jarman with young Chris Massey. Massey's been instructed that as soon as Carlton looked like gaining possession of the ball, just stream into the forward line off that wing position into space, and Jarman is going to have to go with him. Jarman still at this stage of the third term had eight possessions, seven kicks, one handball. He just had no influence on this game whatsoever. And not one of his kicks has been memorable, has it? I mean, as you said, no influence. Normally, he does something special with the footy. And normally, under these circumstances, you'd put him to full four, but now they've got Modra back into the side. They're probably going to keep him in the midfield section. They're desperate to get Bassett back on the ground. He's had big warm-ups, and he's ready to go, I think. Costa's kick back into the centre. Jarman had an area almost for him. Good take there by Tyson. Hamble over the top, affected to Bickley. Bickley at centre ring. Stretched it out, kicks to Madra. Silvani's last 10 minutes has been magnificent. He has held the Crows up on about six occasions. And Manton uses him. And the Blues at the back are very good here. Danger. Playing it out in front. Franchina was held on to. And cheekily comes away. And kicks to his skipper in the centre. Bradley having a wonderful match. 27 possessions. Camparelli takes his full stride. Whitnell again gives a little shove out. Play on called this time. Hamill has been good. Hamill to deliver. Off one leg. Neat. Hogg didn't make it. Fell to the ground. Should have kept his feet. Taken by Smart. It was a good handball by Caven. Smart to Bassett, who has come back on the ground. This will test him. And he gets a free kick against Brown at centre wing. He's got players inside everywhere here. Bassett, and he's not going to look for them. Oh, terrible play, Bassett. Well, hard to be too critical, but boy, he had a, four options, and he waited forever and kicked to the opposition. What and about, now the Blues get a free. What about Andrew McKay's handball? I don't think he'd want to watch the replay of that. And look at Carlton here. As Camparelli's able to punch it out to uh, Franchina. And Franchina goes to the pocket on a long lead. Here is Beaumont and a good mark against Hart. And if Beaumont can go back and put this through, the Blues are back in front. Good change that too to take Pierce off the ground, bring Beaumont on. He's really making Ben Hart work hard in defence. Is David Parker from the coaching box. Manson. He's able to run right down the ground. Glenn Manton, who missed the match against um, Richmond with an illness, has a chance to put Carlton in front. Doesn't mind kicking a goal either. It's been a good player, hasn't he, Glenn Martin? Manton? Really good player for the Blues. Coming from the Bombers, Premiership player of Carlton. He gets underneath it. He's given it everything. He's kicked the goal, and Carlton is in front. This is a really impressive performance by the Blues because 10 minutes ago, Adelaide threatened to blow this match apart and Carlton has come back and looked like they might be in front at three-quarter time. Well, the character they've shown tonight, first of all, they got blown away in that first term through their inaccuracy. They came back and now they've answered the challenge again in this third term. And I'm of the belief now that they are very capable of winning this game tonight. So very well played, uh, close to three-quarter time there by Glenn Manton to get the Blues' 11th goal and give them the advantage presently. It may not last long. Edwards straightens up and kicks the ball to half forward. Punched away by Manton. Rice gathers, goes across the full-back line. Murphy getting down to help out. He can go short. At half-back is Franchina. Hasn't he grown in stature over the last few weeks? The kick puts McKay to, oh, didn't he play it well? On to Brown, he was going to be besieged, and then the pass is to Hamill. Can they score? The dying seconds of the third quarter, Ratton's kick across the line, Beaumont to provide the contest with Ben Hart, or oh, it nearly spilled out in favour of the Blues, but the umpire had the whistle in his mouth and has decided on a bounce just inside 50 metres for Carlton. Bassett coming off the ground, obviously his ankle's not right, and Marsh back on. So the Blues, can they squeeze a goal here? Wren, still a chance. But Rashudo's got the football. He'll run away from half-back. He'll get it to Nigel Smart. And they've been cohorts in crime tonight. Down the ground, they may not score. Smart's kicking to the puck at the siren sounds as the ball is in flight. And the umpire blows the whistle to signal that that is the end of the third quarter. And the coaches to address their players with the scoreboard indicating that Carlton have the advantage by just three points. 11-7.
to 11-4. And it has been a terrific performance so far by the Blues. But there's one thing getting close. You've just got to go on with it. Welcome back to Footy Park. High excitement here. It's been a terrific game. Hope you're enjoying it around Australia. The Blues are in front at three-quarter time by a narrow margin, but they importantly kicked the last two goals of the third quarter. And after a terrific second term, it's 11-7 Carlton, 11-4 Adelaide. <laughs> Let's see what happens in the last half hour. It's been a high-quality game, very entertaining, and certainly has had some twists and turns. Which way will it go? Wren, Costa, such an important game, this. Certainly for the Crows for the end of the season. And the Blues to salvage something. Modra as it went to full forward. Silvani's had a fantastic second half of the third quarter. Two to fit his wide. Sexton's got a lot more of the ball tonight. He's running himself into a bit of form. Kicks the ball down the line to Brown. Oh, good mark. Costa was in late. Jarman caught underneath it. And Fraser Brown's 24th possession was a beauty. Smart kick. And Bradley's 28th possession as he bangs the ball inside. Gets it in the Whitnell direction. With him as Cave. And it's been a very interesting duel all night. Sampson high tackle and luckily no free kick play on call. Crow supporters want one. Whitnell to Hamill. Hamill will kick it to Allen in the goal square. Can the big fella kick a goal? He gets it to Bowman who goes. The Blues in front again. They're nine points in front now. Crows don't like the decision at half back. But the Blues and Bowman's been good since that switch with Pierce. He has been very, very good. It did look hard, there's no question about that. And the big screen here gives the LA fans a second look at it. But they've been competing well all night, the Carlton forwards. And once again, Matty Allen just running forward and Sean Wren just getting caught in the play. Allen's just been prepared to do that. What he's tried to do is he's tried to entice Wren away from where the play is at any particular time. Running forward on that occasion, Wren didn't go with him, he was on his own. So the Blues by nine points and Ratton to kick them forward once again. The kick slews off the side of his boot and the bounce probably favours Ormond Allen. He slips over but he recovers his position. Smart's going to get run down and then handballs for the safety of the boundary line which he will find, yes, just in front of Craig Bradley. And he has a few words to say there, Nigel Smart. Maybe to his teammate uh, Ormond Allen. The boundary umpire will throw it in. It's just forward of the wing favoring Adelaide they need to answer Wren who was terrific in the third term Brown holds him up and the football there with Sean Wren will be bounced the Blues 79 lead Adelaide 70 and the betting here would have been very much in favor of the Crows certainly they would have been warm favorites with the with the sports bookmakers at Carlton well, they've been very good all night, even though they kicked ac inaccurately in the first quarter. Wasn't Brown good again? Murphy to set up Camparelli. Back to Bradley. Bradley across the half-forward line. Hamill in front and takes the mark. So Hamill kicks and kicks with penetration. It might bounce through for a goal. I feel it hasn't been touched. Oh, it's a push-out. The free kick is with Adelaide. Oh. Oh. Did you think that was touched? You're getting a trifle excited up here. A little bit. Yeah, it might work. Well, it is a great game of footy. It's been nip and tuck from the start. Did it, look, I don't know whether it was a free kick. I'd have to see it in replay. It didn't appear to be touched, though. It really appeared that it cleared the two plays. Just watch this closely again. Haven's been given a free kick for in the back. I guess Whitnell, yeah. At the end of that, he did. Well, Caven's kick close to the line. Brown to Ratton. In turn, Brown. Oh, look at the hands. Magnificent stuff. Hamill was in that interchange towards full forward and the mark is taken by Wren. Well, they need a big last quarter and he must be getting tired. He's been tremendous. He's had a great battle with Matthew Allen and he'll kick the ball very wide to the wing. No mark, but that's a free kick and it will go to Stevens. Interference by Franchina. Half back, so the Crows trail here by nine points. She hasn't Hamill been uh, good since uh, halfway through that second quarter. The kick out wide. Robin couldn't get hold of it. McKay. McKay down the line again. Carlton going very well here. White held up. The handball back. Jarman's just uh, not himself tonight. Even when he gets near the footy, he's uh, two, three grabs. 
Franchina back in towards the centre. Rusciuto missed the mark. Free kick to Carton for hanging on to Bradley. He was shepherded it out as he tried to get to that contest, Bruce. You know, were lucky there. Franchina's kick was rather ordinary. So Bradley, who's been just outstanding tonight, chips to Allen, who wins certainly given 100%, but I think Allen's probably had the, the honours here tonight in what's been a very important duel between the two big men on the ground. Allen to go for goal, 52 metres out, winds up, kicks it hard, long, handsomely, a goal! Well, the Crows left the goal square vacant. Nobody getting back. Wren, the man on the mark, interestingly enough. And Allen kicks the goal. And, well, if it was even money at three-quarter time, Carton are certainly favourites right now. Well, it's quite a play, though, once again by Allen. He's probably won the tactical duel out of those two big men all night. He knew that if he stayed back, Wren would stay back with him and maybe a touch ball on the goal line. He pushed up and good goal. So a terrific kick there by Matthew Allen. He has now kicked uh, two goals and gives a distinct advantage now for the Blues. Well done by Andrew McKay to just intercept that Mark Rusciuto hand pass and lock it up again for the Blues around the middle of the ground. Curls, how do you see it now? Well, a little bit sick from the Crows point of view, but full marks of David uh, Parker and his match committee in planning this move of Allen going down and playing as a tall forward that really has torn Wren's game plan apart. Well, he's done well in the ruck. Murphy back to Brown. Brown across the line. If it bounces in favour here, they're in strife. Camparelli rather arrogantly into the pocket with the left. It covers the players there. Ben Hart goes back and gathers. Kicks it high out towards the wing. It's only blue jumpers out there. And it'll be gathered by Franchina. Maybe on this occasion, he will use the ball a little better. No! Straight into the arms of his opposition. In this occasion, it's Mark Stevens. Stevens gets it now to uh, Goodwin. Goodwin's kick towards half forward. Well done. Oh, dropping it is Bassett. Simple chest mark. It looked it like it. It's obviously the pressure. And Silvani doesn't he defend grandly. Kicks it into the middle and doesn't miss his target on this occasion. It was Brown. Brown just to hold it up. Give them a little chance to steady. Rice, handball over the top. Sexton, in turn goes wider still. It's with Franchina, gets past. Sexton running in support. Sexton's little left foot kick into the pocket. Beaumont providing a target. Dragged to the ground there by Ben Hart. Bradley looking for the free kick. A boundary throw and will take place. And Robert, I'd be taking Tony Modra from the ground. You wouldn't have expected him to play probably more than half a game of football tonight. And I'd shift Jarman down to full forward because Silvani is just covering Modra too well. And the Adelaide Crows are getting nothing when they go deep into attack. Sampson's kick. Good stretch by Stevens in the centre. Crows need the next goal. There's no question about that. The Blues have got a two and a half goal lead. Wide to Bassett and also Manton. Bassett down to Tyson. You just wonder where the Crows are going to get these goals from at the moment. Tyson's kick towards full forward. Modra goes early. Silvani free kick. Silvani's just uh, right on top here. And it is a problem because... Malcolm Blight's got Bassett and Modra in the goal square at the moment as his principal forwards. And you do wonder where they're going to find their three or four or five goals that they're going to have to kick to win this match from in the last, say, 15 minutes of the game. Ratton. Carton midfield has been superior. Allen and Wren. It has been the pivotal duel almost. Allen scooped it. He looked to throw. Play on call. The ball's still in the centre. One by Edwards was OK. Needs quick hands, Bitley. Was able to weave his way through. Rusciutos needs to set it up. Goes bang with a long high one to full forward. Bassett, good fly. Rob from Kudafidis. Taken by Silvani. Arched his back. Too easily running away. It's happening repeatedly. Crows are going to have to do something here. Hogg finds Camparelli. Camparelli delivers. Mask getting ready to come on. Whitnell of beauty. Whitnell to Allen. Allen can kick the goal. 40 metres out. Just caresses it through. And the Blues are going like winners. Well, he is giving Wren a real time of it, isn't he? I won't say he's giving him a bath. That would be unfair to Wren. But he's really giving him a time of it. Well, when you control the ball, you can give the opposition a bit of a time of it too. And Carlton have controlled the ball. But just the way that Silvani cleaned up deep in the back half. And then they had the players breaking. They had the numbers. Whitnell took the one-on-one -on -one mark. And Carlton, I just can't see them losing this game.
Well, some concerns there for the Crows coach, Malcolm Blight, and uh, his assistants as Carlton hold now a 19-point advantage, 21-point advantage. 91 plays 70, and they've got the ball up to full forward once again. Ben Hart confronted. The ball spills out wide. Chance here for Costa. Gets it to Bickley. Bickley in turn with Goodwin running in support. Left foot kick now. There's a free kick to Carlton off the ball here against Wren to Allen. Well, Sean Wren, he looks very disappointed. Matthew Allen has kicked three goals. Wren has kicked one. Allen's kick out wide. He's found a teammate. It's Beaumont. The ball bounces for him. He shrugs the tackle. Gives the hand pass. Misses his target in Franchina. Turnover coming here. Caven ducked as he kicks the ball. And big mark taken by Marsh. Looks to play on. He'll be called to do just that. Goes in towards half forward. Good running. Allen will get run down, won't he? No, he won't. He'll kick a goal. No, he won't. He'll miss. Shane Allen, his first score, are behind to the Crows. Some anxious looks on uh, Crows supporters' faces. 20 points now. The kick in has been taken by Murphy. Back to Sexton. Sexton, short and wide. Allen and Bickley. Allen gets the hand pass. White to run onto it. The Blues could go down the ground once again. They are definitely playing with stacks of confidence. Bradley to the face there of Hamill. Smart not able to gather the ball. It'll be locked up by the Blues when the Crows look like streaming out of defence through the agency maybe of Nigel Smart. Curls. Oh, but what, a, what a tremendous recovery by Silvani. He said, Modri, you're not going to take my goal square off me. And what a fantastic fight back. And Neil, also Rusciuto uh, had the better of Silvani early, didn't he? And now Silvani has been an absolute winner. Exactly right. Brown's floater. Sexton getting underneath it, Orman Allen, Whitnell, Whitnell did well, got it back to McKay, important here, little handball was clever to Ratton, Ratton to Allen, Allen's having an enormous last quarter, fantastic smother though, just showed too much of it to Goodwin, Goodwin's been pretty good in this term, to full four, Crows need one, that's for sure, good fly there by Bassett, not paid. Well, he was a big, big fly, and the Blues were able to get back. What they've been able to do by taking Modra from the ground, they've got Silvani ma now matching up with Marsh, and what he would be instructed to do would be to take Silvani out of that goal square so that when they do go deep into their forward line, they're not having Silvani, the player that's actually repelling their attacks. Marsh there, G. Manton was good a moment ago, wasn't he? Silvani, good hands to Bickley. That came from Allen. Bickley's kick is a good one. It's a goal. That's what the Crows needed for the captain. Well, that's just what they had to do to give them the life. And they've found something out of not much. Bickley's been good all night, even though the midfield's been beaten. And the Crows have got a chance still. Well, the Carlton defence was getting really settled. Now Malcolm Blight has made the changes. He's got Jarman down there in the forward line. Bassett operating out of the square. Rusciuto's down there. Edwards is down there. And Wren's at centre-half forward. So it's still a football match here to be won. Either side can take it. The advantage is with the Blues. They lead by 14 points. Murphy leaves it behind. Bickley to kick the Crows to their forward 50. No mark. Franchina to crash his way through. Doesn't really look and blasts away. The ball will land close to half forward. Gathered here by Murphy. Very good evasive tactics. He kicks towards the full forward area. Getting back Whitnell. Couldn't take it. Smart to run away from that half back line. Kicks and misses. Ben Hart kicks with the left and just lands inside the boundary line. And a throw in will take place about, well, it's between wing and right half forward favouring uh, Calvin. Marsh at full forward being manned up by Silvani. Wren's also down there and Robin's gone into the ruck now, so obviously they're just looking for a little bit more mobility around the ground. Carlton under pressure here. McKay. Gets it back to Murphy. Murphy, after a quiet third term, is picking up positions. Good mark. Great mark taken by Lance Whitnell. He's kicked three big goals. His left foot kick. Not taken there by Camparelli. Back goes Bickley. Good contest by, between those two players. But the umpire sees the infringement against Camparelli. And the free kick will go to Bickley. Deep 
in his last line of defence, Mark Bickley. He kicked the last goal for Adelaide. We've got 10 minutes left. The Blues lead by 14 points. So plenty of time here for either side, but the Blues would just love it to be low scoring for the next 10 minutes, wouldn't they? Because Adelaide have got to score three. It's going to be difficult. They kicked a uh, flurry of goals early in the third quarter. They're the handball stats in the final term. They were similar on the story early in the match. The difference now that the Blues are much more effective with it. Allen wins the tap. McKay well played. The percentages are important. Brown to Bradley. Bradley's floater will go very close to the line. Ratner, good effort, Samson, but it's still in play. So the Blues, Ratner's oh. kicked a miracle goal. Unbelievable. Well, Clay Sampson, it was a good effort by Sampson, but in the end, it was all the wrong things for Adelaide. And now, surely, the Blues are going to pull off one of the big upsets of the year. And he's not a goal-kicking midfielder either, Brett Ratton. That was just incredible. It really it was a terrific attempt there to mark the ball by Sampson. The ball didn't go over the line. He had time to actually pick the ball up on his wrong and non-preferred foot and screw it back over his shoulder. And what an inspirational bit of play that was. Well, an excited Brett Ratton kicking his second goal to take the margin back to 20 points. Up high there was Allen, gathered by Bradley. He has just been a magnificent, inspirational leader, Craig Bradley. White tried to gather, tried to tuck it back in the finish. And in, under pressure, Sampson, still Bradley. And he th would be quite happy, I think, with that result, Craig Bradley. His team leads this game by 20 points, and he has had 34 possessions. Great performance by the captain of the uh, Carlton side. Robran gets it down. This is Stevens for the Crows. A left foot kick by Mark Stevens to centre half forward. Wren is there, but it's punched away. And Marsh gathers nicely. Marsh goes for goal to the square. Punched away by Manton. In the action was Rice, also Silvani. Knocks it back to the boundary line. Was that deliberate? Not seen that way by the umpire. Gives the all clear for a throw in. So, Neil Curley, we saw Michael Sexton come off the ground. Yeah, it's a knock to the head. They're just sort of arresting him now. He's okay, but I don't know if he'll take any further part in the game. Wren, Kudafidis. Wren took it out of the air. High kick, not going to the goals. Tyson underneath. Silvani, well done. Hooked it back over the top for a boundary throw in. He has stood tall, hasn't he? Silvani tonight. Shaky start for him, to be truthful. He looked under pressure early. All the wrong mismatches for him, matchups, but oh, hasn't he come back with a vengeance? Wren using his experience against Kudafidis in the rucking duel, but again a ball up. And you just wonder if the Crows have got time. There's a eight and a half minutes to go, and they're going to have to find four goals here to win. Wren, Kudafidis, a bit awkward there. Woodrum quickly tried to get through. Tyson's got a good chance here. Tyson should kick the goal he has. Well, that keeps him alive again. Well, the next goal is just vital. Who kicks it and how long it takes? If the Crows get it within two minutes, well, maybe momentum will get them over the line in the big crowd, but we'll wait and see. But the next goal is so important and how long it takes to get. Well, they just tried as hard as they possibly could to lock that ball in on that occasion. It just bubbled out. It was a poor bit of play there by Carlton. Terrific goal. James Tyson kicks his first goal for the game. 14 points the margin once again. Plenty of time left. Very important. These centre breaks. And it is locked up. Yes, it is in the finish. Very critical where you get the crushes of four, five, six players that it doesn't spill out to the favour of either side and both teams just work so diligently to lock it up. Robran left it behind. Ratton knocks it clear, not clear enough. Costa tackled by Murphy and again McKay knocks it clear, not quite far enough again. Brown, oh he confronts his opposition there, a little too fierce Bickley and Bickley takes the free kick, he's quickly up to his feet. And it looked a rather crude tackle by Fraser Brown. Bickley's kick to the goal face. Nearly hacked out of there by Edwards. Costa tackle by Bradley. Comes now to uh, Sampson. His kick right up to the goal front. Is that a free kick to Bassett? 
It is. If he can kick this, it's eight points the difference. Manton not happy. But Bassett to go for goal. Hasn't kicked a goal in league footy, well though, in his uh, short career. Well, the Crows fans will be hoping that he can get his first. Little nervous. Looks as though he may be going for check side. No. Left foot kick, and he's put it through. It's eight points the margin. Well, they won't lie down, will they? The Adelaide Crows have just lifted their intensity around the packs. Bickley has been ferocious. Costa has been very good. Sampson picked the ripper up almost on his bootlaces on that occasion, controlled it well, just sent the ball forward, just hoping that something would happen down the field, and it did on that occasion, a free kick, and this is a critical centre break. Ironically, John Harvey made that decision. Remember Sean Wren against North Melbourne at the Melbourne Cricket Ground in that last quarter? But there's still the Blues are eight points in front and one goal would snuff it out, you reckon. And Bradley has belted it to fall forward with a long one. Smart has been good in the last ten minutes. Well taken, Whitnell. Good hands. Brown got pushed in the back. No free kick. Hamill had the strength. Whitnell just shoved Caven away and then kicks to the pocket. Oh, he's a player, Whitnell. And found Massey another kick. The two teenagers combined. Have a shot, son. Take it, take your time and have a shot. Robbo, one 18 year old to another. Yes. Whitnell to Massey. And you can see this young fella just a little excited, but uh, the senior players around have got to settle him down. That's right. Fraser Brown's done the right thing on that occasion. Just walked up to him and said, listen, if you're going to have a shot, concentrate correctly. Well, you're in this to win it for the Blues. Oh, and he no. has done it, has he? It's close. He just missed. Check side from the pocket. You'd think one more for Carlton would snuff it out, wouldn't you? Surely Gallet couldn't get three after all of this. But at the moment, this is very much an even money ball game because the Crows have got momentum and they've got the crowd. Still plenty of time. Only six minutes still to play. Goodwin asked to play on, which is interesting because he didn't move from the mark. I'm always a little perplexed about that particular uh, situation where he didn't move from the mark and the play umpires asked him to go. Rob Brentmore, well, can he give them something in the last few minutes? Jarman and Robin have been distinct disappointments tonight. No question about that. They've given uh, the Crows very, very little. Interesting to see. Manton's now switched with Savani. Savani, Colton want him back in the goal square. He's picking up Bassett down there now. Brown. The key here for Carlton, too, is that Brown and Ratton, they're two tough men at the footy, get enough of these little crunch balls to hold it up and stop the Crows getting clear. 89 to 98. Well, there is still plenty of time left, five and a half minutes, and it really is just a, an opportunity to stream down the ground for either side. So it's very, very crucial, these in and unders. This time it's Ratton, McKay, his kick, gathered by Caparelli, wider, Massey, left foot kick by Massey, Whitnell, couldn't take oh. the mark, plays on. And I think he's kicked the goal. Four goals to Lance Whitnell. So, a very important goal there for Carlton. And back out to 15 points. Well, if you say that centre-half forward is the hardest position in the, in the game to hold down, then this fella has just been brilliant tonight. Just watch this again. It was a good centering kick. I don't know whether he gave a free kick away or not. Almost. But just finishing his statistics tonight, nine kicks, six handballs, seven marks, and most of those have been in a contesting situation and four goals. And you just about have to say Lance Whitnell has been the match winner tonight for Carlton. And the Blues, who've got the worst attack in the competition, have kicked 16 goals against the team that's got the best defence. Sampson's kick after Bickley's handball to fall forward. Fly from Bassett, ball on the ground. Adelaide must kick a goal within the next minute. They must kick a goal going forward here to have any chance at all because time is now a real problem. It's only the second time this year Adelaide has had 16 goals kicked against it. The Bulldogs on the other occasion. And the Blues, who have found it so hard, and Blighty can't believe it, I don't think. He'd be churning inside. And for Parkham, well, this would be a famous victory here tonight oh. in the context of this season. Well, Brown has been so good. Kicks to Whitnell, who's been outstanding. He has been the best forward on the ground. And he kicks to Beaumont. And this is the ball game. If it sits, and Beaumont can turn it inside out. Hart did well. 
Hart did very well. Hart keeps Adelaide alive. Now Robin's going to have to take a clean ball here and he can't do it. He hasn't taken a trick all night. Neil Curley. Well, you have to give credit where credit's due, Bruce. They've been outworked in the midfield. Murphy, Bradley and Brown and Ratton, they've been fantastic, that quartet. Well, Carlton won the first game in round one between these two sides by 10 points. And presently, 15 points. Kudafiti's now been shifted onto the ball to pick up Robram, and Allen's gone to centre-half back. Murphy, with his 14th kick, his 29th possession overall, finds White. White kicks to the forward 50. The ball spills for Robram. Slick hand pass, but he gave it to Camparelli. Back to Ratton. Ratton across his left shoulder. And Whitmore, well done. He has played some sort of a game, hasn't he? You can see the frustration on the face there of Peter Caven. And the young man has the presence of mind just to tell everyone else to steady down because he's got every bit of control of this situation. He's kicked four. Can he get his fifth? I think we're seeing one of the uh, absolute stars of the game, aren't we? I mean, this, well, this bloke for the next decade is going to be one of the most important footballers in the AFL. Well, I think you've spoken to a couple of the senior players and they do have a magnificent respect for just his football brain. And uh, He's going for his fifth goal, a tight game. And disappointingly for Lance Whitnell, he's missed. But at least the ball kept down at the Blues end of the ground with two and three quarter minutes left you would think now that they've snuffed out any chance that Adelaide have of winning the game they lead by 16 points and you can see in the left hand corner of the screen the time left Allen Robin not paid the mark looks to play on gives the hand pass back away goes Goodwin out wide Marsh he's shown us enough hasn't he to suggest that he's going to be a good player for the Crows for many years Bickley over the top in turn goes Edwards tackled is Tyson he's still got the football gets the handball away running into trouble now Bassett Bassett to the goal square Stevens well tackled by Matthew Hogg and he locks it up right on the goal line and the umpire will be forced to bounce 16 points is the margin in favor of the Blues and just three times this year Carlton have kicked over 100 points their season hasn't been all that bad. Jarman snaps for goal. Across the face, it may have gone out on the full. It has the free kick to be taken. Back there for Carlton by Justin Murphy. What a good game he's played. And he's got a lot of mates out there. The one, two, threes will be difficult tonight. Carlton have had so many good players. Kudafidis to Silvani. Silvani away from fullback. Out to Manton. Crows have got a tough draw in front of them. They've got three away trips. One's to Geelong and two to Perth. Marsh gets it short to Edwards. And in a season where it is just so... Patchy Evans is, uh, must think they're two goals in front. It's going to come right down to the wire to see whether the Crows make the finals or not. But he's kicked the goal, so well done. I might have been a bit too tough on him there, but two goals to Edwards. But uh, Adelaide have run out of time here. 15-5 to 16-9. Two goals in a minute and a half. Feasible. You have to get every possession, I would say. You'd have to change the three to one in a hurry, too. It's doable. <laughs> it's doable. But I just can't see it happening, and nor do they deserve to win. This has been a brilliant performance by Carlton tonight. So... Maybe the Blues to uh, enjoy their fifth victory for season 1998. Allen, Bickley, left foot kick by Mark Bickley. Who's on the end of this? Big punch by Kudafidis, gathered by Murphy. Dean Rice, quickly. Oh, in trouble there was Manton. Kick off the ground, goes to full forward Silvani. It spills from Bassett and Silvani over for a boundary throw. And in that may have been the opportunity that the Crows were looking for. We've got a minute left. They've got to kick two goals. They led by 25 points at quarter time, did Adelaide. And can this be a repeat dose of round one when the Blues beat Adelaide by 10 points? That's a goal kicked by Goodwin. So it's still a chance. 
Goodwin kicks his second goal, and we're down into the last minute. And Carlton really now have to ice the clock. There's just under 50 seconds left. You've got to send the numbers back into the defence. You've got to try and just plug up those holes and control the ball when you get hold of the ball. There's two players in Carlton's forward line. The rest will be in the Adelaide Crows half, but they must win the ball out of this centre break. That goal took 33 seconds. There's 49 seconds remaining. And they're about to uh, get very embarrassed if the Blues don't win here because we had them home and hose. They go forward again. It's a grandstand finish. 16-5, 16-9. Cave and every ball is important. Whitnell must force it out. Cave and must keep it in. Brown's going to have to win it. He does as he's done all night. Floats it back. Smart and Hamill. Well played by Hamill. Caven under pressure. Good play by the Blues. Under a half a minute. They have got the ball in the right place for them. And Robbo's just about jumping out of his seat. The oh, they're home now. I think they... Well, they deserve to get, to get up, I'd say. I mean, if they'd have lost this game, which was reasonable, centre break, that last centre break was all important. Still 27 seconds. Rusciuto under the hammer. He had to take a chance. Gave it up to Bradley. Could Ratton kick another miracle goal? Well, he can walk in and kick it. Across the face. Bouncing ball. Can Adelaide run it down? There's 12 seconds to go as Ellen comes away. The crowd don't know how long to go. The ball is on centre wing. Carlton's in front. Carlton are going to win it, I reckon. It's taken by Robin. He's handball on the up. Ran over the top. The Blues! The Blues have won it! Go on, you Paco! <laughs> Emotion. Well done, Blues. Well done, Carlton. And I reckon well done, the Crows, too. Because they played it right to the end there. But, boy, Neil Curley will know better than most. That can really hurt Adelaide at the end of this season. That might be the one that is really going to hurt them. Stephen Kernahan, who was at the Blue Milk Footy Club today with Brett Williams as a guest. 16-5 to 16-9. Gee, one of the big games of 1998. No doubt about